Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial on Flamo. Flamo is a Python library designed to automatically produce accurate machine learning models with low computation cost. It is fast and economical. The simple and lightweight design of Flamo makes it easy to use and excel. You can choose your desired customization depending on your needs. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Flamo with different levels of customization by going through seven notebooks. You first need to install Flamo and get your datasets ready. Currently, Flamo supports automatic on classification or regression datasets. For example, in this notebook, we load a classification dataset from OpenML. If you are a domain expert without much knowledge about machine learning, you can use Flamo with the minimum customization. You can start using it as a, a second learn style learner with just several lines of code in the following way. You first build an automatic instance from Flamo and specify the most basic information about this task, such, such as the time budget for this automatic task, the metric to do automatic, the type of the task, and etc. Then you can call this fit function to do automatic, which will finish within your specified time budget. After fitting is finished, you can easily retrieve the outcome of the Automa instance. For example, you can look at the best learner font, the best configuration for the best learner, the best accuracy on the validation dataset, and also how long does it take to train the model with the best configuration. In fact, if you, are, uh, you can also directly output the best model or dump the Automa instance for future usage. Here, Let's directly use the best model to do the prediction on the test dataset, which can be achieved by calling this predict function. And then we'll look at the prediction performance. If you also cares about the anytime performance of the automa process, you can check out the logs, where you can see the search trajectory. Here, we are plotting the anytime performance of Flamo in terms of validation accuracy, which looks quite promising. In this example, you may notice that we didn't actually specify any learner or search space. Under this minimum customization, Flamo is, act is actually searching over a set of default learners, which each with their corresponding search space already coded in Flamo. If you are a machine learning engineer or innovator and want more customization in your automatic or hyperparameter optimization process, you can also easily do that in Flamo. For example, if you want to include one or several of the particular learners in Flamo, you can achieve it by configuring the estimator list argument in the fit function. For example, in this notebook, I only want Flamo to search over hyperparameter configurations of the learner like VM. I can do that by, uh, by including only this particular learner in the estimator list. And there I set the time budget as 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, you can check out the results by looking at any time R2 score on the validation dataset or the R2 score on the test dataset. Since we have the results, let's by the way do a quick comparison between Flamo and the, the default LGBM without any tuning. We can see that Flamo can indeed give a much better score than the default LGBM. Then let's also briefly compare Flamo with another hyperparameter optimization library of Tuna. In this example, Flamo's score is also much better than Optuna. And note that Optuna actually used, five, uh, used four minutes to obtain this result. And if you remember, Flamo um, only used two minutes, which is half the result, half of the resource. If you want to include a particular learner that is not among the default ones in Flamo, you can also easily add them. Suppose you want to include this regularized greedy forest learner, which is not currently included in Flamo. Here is what you need to do to add it. First, you need to have an implementation of the customized new learner. Here we are obtaining it from the second learn library. Then you need to specify the search space which includes the uh, list of hyperparameter names and uh, types and the ranges 
ranges of the hyperparameter configuration. Optionally, you can also provide initial values for the configurations. In addition, Flamo encourages users to provide a low-cost initial value for those cost-related hyperparameters. In order to take the full to take full advantage of Flamo's unique search search strategies designed for cost-related hyperparameters. Here, let me clarify a little bit about the cost-related hyperparameters. A cost-related hyperparameter means a hyperparameter whose configuration configuration value have a direct impact on the evaluation cost of the corresponding model. In this example, the max number of leaves n as a uh, number of um, iterations and n tree search are all such types of hyperparameters. And here we provide a low cost init value for each of them, which is just an arbitrarily small value in the search space. After coding up this RGF learner, you can now add it into Flamo by calling this add learner function. Then you can run AutoML by tuning hyperparameters of RGF as well as the default learners. In addition to adding customized learners, you can also customize the evaluation metrics and other options, or uh, other um, many other arguments in the fit function depending on your needs. Finally, Flamo also uh, allows advanced users to do hyperparameter optimization with arbitrary training and evaluation code in Flamo.tune. Flamo.tune is a module for economical hyperparameter tuning. It can be used stand-alone or together with Retune or NI. In this README, we include an example of sequential tuning with some arbitrary evaluation code. Here, I include the configuration evaluation code in this eval config function, in which I report the result of my interest as the metric. The hyperparameter optimization is done by calling the tune.run function, where I provide the evaluation function, the search space, the low cost partial config, which is the low cost initial config value for the cost related hyperparameters, as explained before and the time budget in seconds. After it finishes, you can retrieve result of your interest from the uh, return to analysis object. For example, from there, you can look at the best trial, the best trial's result and the best configuration. If you are familiar with Retune, you can also reuse Retune's API in almost exactly the same way. The only thing you need to do to use our method is to specify the, the search algorithms accordingly. The two, the two uniquely uh, economical hyperparameter optimization uh, proposed in our library are CFO and blend search. In fact, these two hyperparameter optimization algorithms are already integrated into Raytune recently. You can also check them out there with the corresponding examples. You can find another example of using this tune.run in this notebook. In this notebook, we fine tune a transformer model from Hugging Face Transformer Library. Similar to what is previously introduced, you can define a training function which accepts a, configuration, a hyperparameter configuration and reports the metric to optimize. Then you provide the search space of the hyperparameter configuration and call flammo.tune.run to do the hyperparameter optimization with your, within your time budget. You can also control parallelization by specifying the resource per trial argument. And again, you can retrieve result of your interest from the returned object. This is the end of this brief tutorial. Thank you for your interest and attention. For more details, please feel free to check out our notebooks, test cases, and the documentation in the Flammo library. We welcome your feedback and contribution. Thank you.